Hello there, young man. This is Alderman Hughes. That was quite a message you sent at Winslow's funeral. And trust me, I heard it loud and clear. Now, I'd like to set one thing straight. It was Monroe's plan to strong-arm the Saints. Personally, I've always thought you and I could have a much healthier relationship. Now, we've had a rocky start, yes, but why don't we fix that? Come over to my fundraiser tonight. Julius will be there, and between the three of us, I'm sure we can work something out. Your guest is here, Mr. Yos. Thanks, Stephen. If you don't mind, could you wait outside? I'm Richard Hughes. It is a pleasure to meet the man who handed me the election. No need to be modest, I'm serious. There's no way I could have beaten Marshal Winslow. God rest his soul. But you made the impossible happen, and for that, I can't thank you enough. I mean, had Winslow been the only person killed, attention would have definitely been cast on me. But after that fireworks display you pulled at his funeral, it's become abundantly clear these horrible crimes were perpetrated by the Third Street Saints. While before people criticized my Saints Row urban renewal plan, it is now being lauded. See, until you came along, I was displacing poor people. Now, I'm destroying a hotbed of gang activity. What can I say? The public is fickle. Champagne. Oh, as you get older, you quickly learn that there are only two types of people in this world. Race, money, gender, none of this matters. At the end of the day, you're either a winner or a loser. Now, the sad truth about our situation is that in order for me to be a winner, I have to level your neighborhood and salt the earth. Hold on for a moment. Stephen, could you come in here? Where was I? Oh yes, salting the earth. Now I suppose I could try to pay you off, but really, what's the point? You just say no, or in your case, stand there looking intimidating and we'd be right back to where we started. So I figured I'd cut the middleman and get right to the point. Yo, can you speed this shit up? I wanna go to freckle bitches. You're going to die here, son. Make no mistake about that. But if it makes it any easier on you, I'll be sure to thank you in my acceptance speech. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a party to...
road The home of the gun clap is more time criminals Sneak thievers and carjackers Where the streets fight back And shootouts are bound to happen Ain't nobody scrapping All of these killers is taking action Gang wars, yeah, we bang to the death Gaining respect in the intelligent city Think smart and wear your best Watch your right just as well as your left Cause nine out of ten times We're a creep from behind And blow the tech Heat holding whips stolen While police is patrolling Flashing they lights Telling us to pull over We keep going on a high speed Chasing the law Out on parole Swerving out of control With the gas pedal to the floor On a death wish Driving reckless With no headlights Running through roadblocks And we ain't stopping at red lights That's how the game goes Switch up and change clothes Watch your back When you walk through the streets It's safe road, nigga Somebody gon' get laid down Whether music or four pounds Ain't no need to know me well We can get the drama poppin' Homie, I won't tell Somebody gon' get laid down Whether music or four pounds Ain't no need to know me well We can get the drama poppin' Homie, I won't tell Into the real world with corrupt cops and vigilantes lurk Henchmen put in position to do my handiwork Mob bosses hire hitmen to get your family murk No matter right or wrong, remember to put your family first We in the gutter, watching for undercover Slinging butter, posted up on the corners, me and my brothers Sex, money, and drugs, the hungriest thugs Sleep with my burner and boss with my gun in the tub Posted up in the back of the club, we doing it That's a nice outfit on your back, don't make me ruin it First class serving shots like a stewardess Gun out the host and now come a little closer so you can view the fifth Blood stains, bullets are genuine, so you fluidless Barely escape with the joys of life when your Buick flip That's how the game goes, switch up and change clothes Watch your back before flat in the traps The Saints role player up. Somebody gon' get laid down Whether music or four pounds Ain't no need to know me well We can get the drama poppin', homie, I won't tell Somebody gon' get laid down Whether music or four pounds Ain't no need to know me well We can get the drama poppin', homie, I won't tell This just into the newsroom, a deadly explosion has rocked the waterfront. Our Jane Valderrama is already at the scene. Jack, waterfront residents and the press who were setting up their cameras and microphones to cover the gala fundraiser scheduled for mayoral candidate Hughes' campaign were treated to an amazing sight a few moments ago as the yacht registered to the alderman exploded in a shower of brass and mahogany. We were a safe distance away, so no one here was injured, as, as far as we can tell. But we have no word as to who, if anyone, was actually aboard. We don't know how this happened, why this happened, or even who was on the boat, if anyone, as no survivors have been located. I was inside the press tent when it happened, but witnesses outside say that the peaceful, serene evening was suddenly punctured by a vicious explosion that not only reduced the alderman's yacht to a pile of floating debris, but knocked out windows and swamped smaller boats throughout the marina. Jack? Jane, while you were giving that report, we attempted to contact Alderman Hughes' press secretary, and there was no answer. Do we know where the alderman is? No, we do not, Jack. I've asked around, and no one from the press corps noticed any official movement on the boat, as it's early in the evening, and the event was not scheduled to begin for another couple of hours. Do we know if this was an accident or yet another attempt on the life of a public official? Jack, we don't have any definitive answers on that, and with almost no details emerging yet, we still do not know if this was something as silly as a galley or a fuel tank explosion. But in the light of recent events, we cannot rule out the possibility that this was more than just an accident. Reporting live from the waterfront, this is Jane Valderrama. Back to you, Jack. Thank you, Jane, and stay dry. Stay tuned as we get more details on this unfolding event. We will bring them to you immediately. In the newsroom, I'm Jack Armstrong. Niggas 
don't talk, they do it. We stranded on same road, feel 